This is one of the lesser traveled, you can't even really call it a trail, lesser traveled canyons. This is Bachota Canyon. The black log standing up down there, that's the turn, or real close to the turn. That mountain coming down, that's the turn back to Highway 39. And there's a 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s call, uh, uh, group of houses there. It's long gone. But uh, on Google Earth, I believe there's two more back here. The last one here is right in this area. But just over this hill is the North Fork. This one goes all the way back, turns and continues going back. And eventually if you climb up, you will hit South Hawkins. But this is what you're going through. So I don't think we're gonna make, we have a two and a half hour turnaround point because we have something else in mind today. I don't know how far we're gonna make it, but I'm gonna try to see what's back here. The furthest I've been is about a mile beyond this turn. I did a survival out of a box challenge back here, maybe eight years ago or so. I think going out, and, so, I don't know if there's look, going out, we might be able to make it up over that. But when we get to the other side, I bet you it's gonna go. There's a drop, yeah, about a hundred foot drop. We have to, there's bound to be a way down, though. Sure, it's just a, it, we should. But it, beyond this, it'd be too, it'd be more work than it's worth. This is like the turnaround point. Yeah. Either we go back this way or we go over this way. Yeah. It's a pretty area, though. I like it. There's a hawk right here. Look. See, he's watching us. Is that a chicken hawk? Here's an old car frame, piece of one. So obviously, they were able to drive back here. Now the furthest. Uh, I've been back, it's not too much further, but somewhere along here there's a big oak tree on the west side of the canyon and um, I found glass under the tree, like window glass, and a fence post with a hole through it, so there was a house back at least this far at one time, and obviously they had a road, if so the road was probably over here. But I don't know anybody who's been back here to the end. Um, there is a place on Pigeon Ridge Road where theoretically you can drop down to, into, here, into here. And maybe they used to, but it's really overgrown right now. And uh, I'm hoping we make it back at least that far. Grave. They probably kept their, I don't know, oh, it's like a, a road marker or something. Look at that. There's a game trail going up here, but there's another trail back here. So they were at least this far back. Yeah. 
It looks like a road sign, doesn't it? Some some type of a marker just by itself like that. There's a guy that um, lives right off of Highway 39 on the right hand side if you're going north. Um, just past the mouth of Soldier Creek. And he gave me the history on this canyon. And he told me there were, I think it was 41 houses from here down. To the West Fork, I believe he said, or 41 families, maybe not, I forget, but uh, there are about a half a dozen on this side, and then when you get down there further, there are about 16, I believe, and then you cross the river back to the other side, where we had the Kumite that time way back at the pool. There are four more, and you cross to the middle, there's a group of about six or seven. Then there's the big one that's still up on the ridge where you can see from the road. And you get further, there's a small community still living there, and there are six, I believe. So, there could be some more up here. But that guy, during the 60s, 70s, he wore a gun strapped to his waist because uh, people going up messing around his cab his cabin where above his cabin there were two or three others, but they're gone, flash flood. He's the only survivor out of that canyon. And the rangers nicknamed him the Sheriff of Soldier Creek because he wore a gun to protect his stuff because he said a lot of people were going up there and doing LSD and breaking into his stuff. So he wore a gun, they called him the Soldier. They called him the uh, Sheriff. Well, recently, a guy up north, Mike, Oregon Mike, sent me a box down full of real cool goodies, all kinds of cool stuff. I'll, I'll show some of it later on in another video, but one of them is a book on all the city names up here and around here and throughout California, how they got their names, when they got their names, who gave them their names. <laughs> Azusa, I'll tell you the one for Azusa. Azusa was found on a rock. Um, let me see, a rock south of me. I didn't say exactly which rock, but down out of the canyon, there was some uh, pictoglyphs and uh, some writing. And when they asked what it meant, it wasn't unknown if it was Gabrielinos that wrote it or um, I'll tell you in, in another video exactly, I don't want to make a mistake, who wrote it. But the believed meaning was for Azusa came from another word. Azusa was shortened. And that other word was land of the skunks. Because I guess there was a lot of skunks in the lower land here back then. But it gave uh, the meaning for each and every city. And my particular home city was a really cool one. So watch for that video. But in that video, he also gave me, because he knows I'm a big fan of gun smoke and Mar Marshall Dillon. And uh, he goes, hey, San Gabriel Mountains already has a sheriff. But here, you can be the marshal. He gave me a Matt Dillon, official Matt Dillon marshal badge. Pretty cool. <laughs> Marshal of the San Gabriels. Look at this over here. You know that at one time it's a waterfall, but you look up above it and it goes up into a canyon, a separate canyon that's really green back there. Uh, there's no water running in Bachota right now. There may be a trickle over there, I don't know. If we have time coming back, we'll check that out. But right now, this sort of opened up, so we're going to see as much as we can see. We gave ourselves a, a three-hour turnaround. Right in here somewhere, I think by that yellow tree there is where I had the survival challenge. There's a beach on the other side. So from here up, 
I'm on uh, new ground. That's myself. It looks like there may be water up there. Yeah, I can hear water. Okay, there is water. So you don't have to bring all your water. There is water. I definitely would filter it though. This is what it's like going through back here. I guess that's why it's not a well used trail. Not much is really known about it by many. It'll zig around this way and go back quite a ways. Go a little bit more this way and then it'll split off two ways. One way goes up towards Pigeon Ridge Road and towards, if you're looking down, if you're doing the ridge from South Hawkins to Rattlesnake and you look down and you see those dirt roads, those dirt roads dead end all at the back of this canyon. It looks like they used to go up and over where Burrow Canyon is. But I guess they stopped it when they turned it into a shooting range. I don't know what the roads were used for. I don't know if anybody lived that far back here, but we're still finding pieces of metal here and there. I saw something in a tree in a, from ways back, and to me it looked like a monkey's hand. And as it got closer, it looked like bone. And it is bone. Look at that. Part of a pelvis. Somebody hung it up here. We heard a gunshot ahead of us, so I think somebody's hunting back here. We're seeing uh, footsteps too, so we want to not get shot. But a hawk just flew over, screeching. Metal signpost. And the signpost up ahead. Ouch! Whoa! Oh yeah, trail marker! If you look at this canyon on Google Earth, you'll see where there's a trail the entire way. And it looks like there's two uh, cavern remains, but the cavern remains would have been right in this area and we don't see anything so it could be just rock you're viewing from above we're back on trail now though kind of sort of looks like does it go that is it that yeah it does look good it goes that way but it also goes this way I think I recognize this landmark from the maps. I think that sign back there was a trail that goes up and it'll take you up 
next to the water tank on Pigeon Ridge Road. I think that's this trail, old trail. It goes up, it goes up again and it'll hit the road right at the water tank. Then you can take Pigeon Ridge Road back to the uh, Highway 39. But it's a long walk and then we would have miles back down to the car. Yeah. So I think this is our best route. We're parked back there by that white mountain where that hits the... Uh, Way past that. That's on the other side of Highway 39, isn't it? No. No, that's this side. No, that's this side, yeah. We're parked on the other side of that. But we're still finding trail. Bits and pieces. At one time, you can look on Google Earth, there's a trail map all the way back here. Okay, we're going to call it right here. We've pretty much run out of time. But uh, we got past... Uh, we got further than I thought we were going to get. But this is where we lose all access. We don't, I don't see any way through this. Look at this. It just gets too here to walk on the side. And right there, you're looking at about 20 feet down. And when you get down, it's all brush. The canyon gets real narrow right here. It may open up once you get the other side of that. But uh, I may never know. Maybe somebody watching this will know. But if we have ever tried this again, uh, well, in the next video after this, we're going to... Tonight we're gonna we're gonna be way up above this, and uh, we'll be looking down at this to get an idea of where we were. Hey, look at this. This is all the way back by that that sign below the water tower. The, that sign's right there. So there's probably a road back here at one time, huh? Yeah, for sure. So this is an interesting canyon. If you guys are looking for something different. Who knows what's in back of me? Who, who knows what's up there? I don't, I don't know. Obviously, there are people coming back here. Bring a machete. <laughs> but, uh, a lot of poison oak. Berries. Zigzagging across the stream. A lot of bushwhacking. So, uh, if you're looking for something different, Pachota Canyon. Pretty neat, in Azusa Canyon, off Highway 39. It's all, all of it's on a map. Just look at the map. This is a perfect canyon if you're solo backpacking or backpacking with one or two friends. Any more than that, you're not gonna be able to camp together. Campsites are few and far in between, and they're small, maybe 10 by, 12 is the biggest one we've seen. But you have water all the way up. It's dry for ways and then a spring. It's dry for ways and then a spring. You got a filter. If you want to escape the crowds, this is the spot. Really neat. There's history back here to be discovered, rediscovered. I'm sure there's some write-ups on this canyon somewhere online. But if you want to get away from people, we parked directly across from the gate. You can't block the gate. If you stay on the, headed north on the road, if you stay on the east side, there's some parking further up, but that's debatable if you want to park there but there's room for one car directly across from the entrance to this cabin we stop here in the sun and just have a break Oh yeah, bear claw marks. All the way up, all that brown.
<laughs> I think we go this way, right? Or do we go that way? Um, I think this way. This, this way feels better. It's warming up now. Through there, right? Yeah. And then we're gonna, and then it swings back around to the right. To the left. You're right. To the left. Jesus. I'm spazzed this morning. Sorry. Here it is. There we go. Really cool canyon, guys. You look like a parakeet. Okay, once through the canyon wall, the opening of Bachota, you see that tree over there on the east side of the canyon. That's where the last house is, the last known, the last popularly known, commonly known house is. And right there used to be the little edge where the table is. That's now slid off. But down below it, there is a place to camp. And not too far up around the first bend, there's another place on that side of the canyon to camp. Other than that, you gotta go quite a ways. But, um, you guys, come on, try this canyon. This is Bachota Canyon, one of the forgotten trails. Look on Google Earth, just Google Earth, Bachota Canyon. Google Earth Crystal Lake. And then you can come down south, and eventually you'll see Pigeon Ridge Road, then you'll see Bachota Canyon. Then you can work your way all the way up Bachota Canyon, you'll see the trail. It goes back almost four and a half miles. We probably made it a third of the way. Gets thick in some areas, but we are on a time of time limit because we're headed somewhere else right now. But uh, if you guys come up here, or if you know anything about this canyon, let me know in the comments down below. It's an interesting canyon, it's forgotten history. Um, if you know anybody that lived back here, if, or if if, if your relatives live back here or anything you know or if you come back here make a video and then please in the comments below put a link to your video I'd like to see further I'd like to see this canyon where it ends it's pretty neat I might be back but I don't know how do you doubt it if I do I might come in off Pigeon Ridge Road back there by the tower and just drop down but there's a chimney up there we're back to the houses Back around the corner, we'll be back to Highway 39 in about 25 minutes, I'd say. Right at the mouth of the canyon, right, right where this drops, you're gonna, you gotta stick to the to the left side, the west side. There's nothing over there, and uh, you're gonna go through some poison oak a lot, over a log, drop down through some poison oak, then you're gonna cross, and then just go the best way you can. But there's Highway 39. We're back. We've got to drop across West, uh, North Fork. Chota's here, North Fork's here. This is where they merge. And we are back, we're at the gate. I'll show you where we parked when we get there. I have another video where a couple of buddies of mine, three of us, four of us together, I think it was, uh, parked up North Fork and West Fork, and we walked the entire North Fork. So we came down through here. There's a couple more house remnants on the North Fork right there. And then there's a couple more up there. There's a palm tree. See that palm tree up there? There's one right there. Just off to the right of it, there's a tree. That palm tree is planted by whoever lived there. And then there's a 16 right here. And a couple on that side and it just keeps going. But this is the divider. Pachota, North Fork. So you know exactly where we are on the map. 
Okay, we came out there, across the North Fork, and came up this, right at the gate. The gate at Bachote Canyon. There's the North Fork comes down, Bachote Canyon going back, Pigeon Ridge Road way up there, top. Uh, there's a truck bed there. The truck is actually in the river down there. The first house is there. Actually, the first, 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 second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth houses are right there. There's the seventh, but it looks like there's two more up there farther. You look Google Earth, but I'm not sure. We didn't make it that far. Then down here, there's 14 or 15, and it just continues all the way down both sides of the river. Come on up, check it out. These are the forgotten trails of the San Gabriels. Very interesting stuff. North Fork, really interesting. There's all kinds of cool stuff up here. People just overlook it. Anyway, we parked right across the street. There's some more parking right up around the corner, just north of Bachota. I have overnight parked here. No ticket, no problem. Highway 39. If you go back there and see something interesting or find out something interesting, please, in the details below, please put a link to your video and uh, let me know what to look for in the video. Let me know what you found. Enjoy it.